a dangerous risk of severe storms bringing a moderate risk into play across the southern United States today. And here's all the info you need to know. My name is Shady from Psy Weather. We will be showing you the outlook next. Okay. We're going to be taking a look at the SP outlook. And you can see it is definitely changed from the last time I, w I went over this. And you can see right now we have a 4 out of 5 on the... Uh, uh, four out of five on the you know risk area right now. Uh, we got a marginal there. We got slight here, an enhanced here, and a mo large moderate right now. So we're gonna go over the main states that are gonna be impacted right now. So we got uh, Texas, uh, most of Texas, and some of the um, you know Missouri and Louisiana and some of the Oklahoma areas. You guys are gonna be impacted by this moderate risk. Uh, anyone in the hands, you guys in Tennessee, Arkansas, uh, Texas, uh, you guys are going to be um, impacted with this enhanced hand, even into the Houston, Texas area, and into the Mississippi, you guys are going to be impacted with this moderate risk too. So if you guys are in this slight, uh, and enhanced and moderate and a marginal, you guys need to keep an eye out for the sky because this could be dangerous tonight. Anyone in the marginal, Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, uh, Missouri, uh, anyone in there, uh, pick a look out uh, that you guys do have a moderate and uh, just be on the lookout for that today. Tornado parameters, uh, we do have a 10% out and a hatch, so anyone in the uh, hatched or 10% uh, goes for Dallas, Tennessee, uh, to D Texas, uh, Tennessee, and uh, areas of... Uh, Missouri, if I'm not wrong, or any, not really Missouri, just areas, of some of Missouri and uh, some of the Louisiana area, you guys are going to be impacted. Um, the 5% is going to be anyone in the 5%, uh, Mississippi, Texas, uh, Tennessee, you guys need to watch out, and even some of the, uh, if I'm not wrong right there, that is going to be uh, Missouri, uh, you guys need to watch out. Um, and then uh, anyone in the 2%, uh, Texas, uh, and also Louisiana and Alabama, you guys need to be on the watch out, look out for these, uh, tornadoes. Wind, this is going to be a more, most of a wind-driven threat today, so anyone in the, uh, Dow, uh, anyone in Texas or, uh, anyone in the, uh, Texas and Tennessee areas and everyone in there, you need to watch out for some wind. Anyone in, uh, Louisiana, Arkansas, you need to continue to watch out for this wind. Uh, anyone in the Mississippi, Louisiana, um, Alabama, or Missouri, please watch out as there is going to be some dangerous winds that come with this. And we'll show you um, some of the gusts that will be coming with this later on. All right, moving on to the hail. And this is really very concerning as we have a 45% look out for hail. This is a, the most of a wind and hail threat by the looks of it. Maybe a couple tornadoes. Um, but it did get, it did shift more westward, um, than it, than the last video. Obviously, the, uh, Texas areas, um, you guys need to watch out for some of that hail. Uh, also, uh, Arkansas, uh, and most of Texas and Louisiana and, uh, you know, uh, Mississippi, Tennessee, um, again, Arkansas, Louisiana need to watch out for, um, potential hail. And even some of the Missouri areas need to watch out for that hail today um so let's go ahead and take a brief look out for the day two also uh, yeah they um we're gonna have a three out of five on the enhanced scale and there's a chance i will be storm chasing as it does impact some of my area so i probably will be storm chasing um right around here tomorrow so i will be staying storm chasing in there uh so we possibly might have a stream on that uh, if i can get it working so a1 in the enhanced this includes Portions of Tennessee, Kentucky, and um, anyone in the slight, which that's going to be me. Um, anyone in the slight includes Cincinnati, Kentucky, Alabama, Georgia. Anyone in the marginal, obviously, Indiana, Ohio, Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia. Anyone in those areas, you guys do have a, um, you know, a, a substantial uh, after the aftermath of this event that's going to be going on today, and we'll lead over until tomorrow. Tornado risk, you guys got a uh, 5%, anyone in the 5% and 2%. This includes areas in Tennessee, Georgia, Ohio, Kentucky, North Carolina, Alabama. Um, you guys have a 5% out. Anyone in the uh, wind, 
this is going to be a win event too. Anyone in there, Tennessee, Kentucky, uh, can, uh, Georgia, Ohio, Alabama, um, North Carolina, Virginia, Indiana, you guys who have a wind threat. Uh, hail, there's no hail at this time, um, so you guys are good on that. And uh, the day three isn't very, um, you know, isn't very good. So we do have a substantial break for now. So next we will be going over and looking at the temperatures. All right. And here is your temperatures right now. Obviously, we are looking at a very, very, uh, hu a very, very warm start to today. So as you can see, um, this really does start to warm up and it starts to get into the high 70s, mid level, mid to upper uh, 80s and upper lower 80s. And then we have some areas could be um, into the lower 70s, um, but it won't be feeling like 80s, 85 because of the uh, humidity. But as you can see, look at that Southern Texas to 99. That is insane. So you can see it really did change. Um, than the other outlook I did make. So uh, very, very concerning on these temperatures as it's going to fuel the storms. Uh, here's another thing that we're going to be looking at. You can see once this, this storm system really starts to push in, you'll get a cold air mass that will bring, it'll feel like the 40s to 30s in some areas, and you can see how it starts to move this way um, as it moves on. So very, very uh, warm atmosphere for now, but it will get hot and it will be um, dramatic change. Now let's go ahead and look at our dew points right now. And I know we're just kind of uh, taking a uh, quick look at this. Um, as you can see, uh, dew points, um, they're not looking too shabby right now. Obviously, in these areas, you guys are looking at to uh, uh, lower 70s to maybe some upper 60s. Uh, anywhere, uh, maybe lower 80s at most in some areas. So very, very low dew points, but uh, they will be helping this uh, storm system be very strong. All right, so next we're going to be taking a look at our humidity. Obviously, this is going to play a big factor into our storm system. It's not looking too bad right now with the humidity, upper 80s, um, and then we're looking at maybe upper 90s in some areas. So this is very, very concerning on how this system will play out. Obviously, you can see a system really does start to be right here. You can see as we play it out, um, your dew points are going to be up in the hundreds, it's going to feel like. And that really starts to push out and then um, possibly you guys could um, be get after this. You guys will have a, a cool, cool start um, to your weekend. So now we will be taking a look at right now into our wind gust. All right, now we're going to be taking a look at your wind gust. I did mention that we were going to look at it. And as you can see, this is right now so uh, some of the Texas regions are going to be taking a look at uh, maybe some wind gusts up to 40s 45 in the areas uh, could be taking a look, look at that right now and then look at that from the back end of this you guys are seeing wind gusts up to 52 46 in some areas so it's a very windy um, start and as you can see once this system really does push out you guys could be seeing some higher 50s and lower 40 wind gusts and some of these areas could be seeing 30 miles per hour up upper 30s and maybe some 43s at time with the wind gust. So it's going to be a very, very windy system. Nothing to play around with. And tomorrow I will be taking a look at some of the others. Um, but for now, it's a very, very windy start. And it does start to really calm down as um, the time goes on in this weekend. Next, we're going to be taking a look at our supercell and tornado parameters. So that will be next. All right, now we're going to take a look at the supercell composite. You can see how much of a um, very, very, you know, dramatic difference. You can see up in these areas, maybe some in these areas, uh, some in this area, and maybe a little bit in that area um, could be seeing some supercells. And I will say this isn't as, you know, concerning as it was. Um, earlier whenever we started to analyze it and that was around possibly uh, oh uh, it was yesterday uh, we started to analyze it but still up to the uh, 15s in some areas could be seeing super silk composites so still a dangerous dangerous setup that's going to be playing out and we'll be taking a look over here and we're going to see uh, how this really does start to push out and um, really Georgia, Georgia and Alabama are going to be seeing some supercells that could go with this tomorrow. So 
a very dangerous setup, I will say. So be weather aware and be wet, weather radio. Uh, have your weather radio or your um, latest news um, for latest news channel and watch out for that. And be taking a look at the tornado parameters on oh my. I am very concerned for Lower Texas as there is 10.1 and maybe 11 in some areas and tor tornado parameters are showing very, very, very uh, intense lines. So it's going to be very, very uh, wicked. Uh, Alabama, you guys need to be a lookout for your tornado, stop, tornado precautions. And then um, uh, I will say too that, um, you know, Louisiana, Texas, you guys need to watch out and uh, I'm not wrong, this is... Uh, Possibly uh, Missouri, if I'm not wrong. I could be very, very wrong. That might be Missouri. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But you guys could be seeing some um, tornadoes with this system. So uh, uh, next we're going to be taking a look at our uh, Cape. And um, we're going to be taking a look at the Cape. And you can see that there is so much Cape in the atmosphere than it was earlier and look at this, you're seeing in some areas could be seeing 3,000, and I'm pretty sure I just saw one, 4,000, 4,000 Cape, and this is very, very um, concerning as you can feel the atmosphere, so um, very, very concerning system. You can see it starts to really push off, and there, it really does diminish, but uh, the Cape still sticks around just a little bit into the overnight hours, and uh, be weather aware, because this is going to be a very, very d d dangerous setup. Alright, so we're going to be taking a look at the radar right now, as you can see right here, and uh, right in this area, you guys will be seeing some rumbles of thunder and a little couple uh, discrete supercell, uh, discrete storms right now, and as we move on just a couple more hours, you can see that this is a strengthening band that really starts to push out and uh, is very, very concerning, as there's going to be some discrete supercells in here and a couple discrete supercells in here that really are going to start to fire up. And even Alabama could be seeing some storms that will fire up. So very, very concerning system as it does start to move on. We'll take a couple more scans. It really starts to really diminish in here and really starts to, you know, play a role in that area. So it really starts to diminish. And you can see, look at that. North, north of this area could be seeing some nasty thunderstorms tomorrow. And we'll take a look at that tomorrow too. But also discrete supercells could happen here. So very, very strong system, and this will play out tonight. So if you're in, you're in these areas, be on the lookout for this as it does start to uh, uh, be very concerning. We're going to take a real quick a couple a look out for the HRRR. I know this is um, something I don't take a look out for, but look, the HRRR is very, very concerning with this. Is Boeing segment still is um, strong. This starts to really push up here. You can see how it really starts to, you know, uh, strengthen over time. You can see discrete supercells. Uh, the Aperture Bar is saying that this is going to be very, very uh, uh, discrete. Some of these are supercells are going to be discrete. They're not all gathered together. They're going to be discrete and they're going to be strong. You can see little hooks on it and little uh, tiny hooks. And you can see that these are going to be embedded with the storm. You can see it's going to be very, very dangerous. So very, very dangerous setup on the way um, with this. And be weather aware. Have your weather radio out. We will be streaming tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, share this with anyone out there in this area. And um, overall, I am Shady with Weather. Thank you, everybody, for watching. See you guys tomorrow.